look, I have this egg here because did you know, yesterday was National Egg Day. And you know what today is? National Cheese Day! What are the chances that Egg Day and Cheese Day are right next to each other? Whoever planned that was quite a genius because eggs and cheese, perfect combo. They go together like, like eggs and cheese. I mean, they're just such a great combo, which is why I decided gourmet egg sandwich with ricotta because hello, ricotta is like such an amazing cheese and eggs and I've never gone gourmet. But can I actually go gourmet? Now I know what you're thinking. Flannery, how are you gonna go gourmet? What is considered gourmet? That is a fantastic question. And honestly, I'm not quite sure what is considered like fancy gourmet, but this sounds pretty fancy in my opinion because I mean it has ricotta and ricotta is like one of the fanciest cheeses that I know of. Is ricotta a fancy cheese? Regardless, it's fancy in my opinion so and we're not using bread because we're gonna be so gourmet and fancy that we're using potatoes. Y'all just gotta see these ingredients. You're never gonna believe it. Now the first ingredients you need are for your bread, which isn't actually bread because I'm using potatoes, which is so clever because it's gonna look like a bread, but it's not really a bread and it's pretty clever. And then we're gonna season it because nobody likes a plain potato. And I have some oil, salt, pepper, and garlic. Delicious. So I have decided that I wanna use just the ends of my potatoes and I'm not gonna waste the center, so don't worry. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the outer side because I want it to be flat and not rounded. And then I'm gonna cut down the center and get a nice slice. Then you rotate your potato and you just do the same thing on the other side. And this is the sample. And like I said, don't worry, I'm not gonna waste this part. This part will be used. I love a good potato. I thought about taking a bite out of it, but I'm not gonna eat a raw potato. Maybe if it were cooked, I would take a bite right now, but I'm not doing that. Now, to be extra gourmet, I'm just gonna cut some lines in here because I think that's pretty fancy. And then the seasonings will just sink right in and it's gonna be so delicious. So what I'm doing is I'm slicing diagonally, diagonally on one side and then you flip it over and do the diagonals oppositely on the other side. Is oppositely a word? It doesn't matter. Um, but it's gonna be so beautiful. And that is how you make a fancy potato. Three fifty. She's back from vacation. Now that our potatoes are sliced, the first thing we're gonna do is move our potatoes over to our spray pan. Always spray your pan because you don't want anything. She's here. We. Are, I already introduced you. Three fifty. She just wanted to say hi, she wasn't here last week. Anyway, back to my potatoes. We're, um, what was I saying? We're moving our potatoes over and then we're going to put our oil on both sides, both sides always, because you know, like I said again, you don't want it to stick. And then the oil helps the seasoning stick. So we're gonna put on our, our seasonings on both sides, flip them over in between. And that's that. It's pretty simple. You just do the same thing for both potatoes. And that's how you do it. Now that my potato bread is ready, it's gonna go see 350. She is ready to make this gourmet egg sandwich. So we're gonna give her this bread. It's not really a bread. It's not really a bread 350. She knows. Alrighty, and while that's in there, we're just gonna hang out and Fun fact, did you know that today, even though it's National Cheese Day, is also National Donut Day! You may have already known that and you're probably thinking, Flannery, like, it's Donut Day. Why aren't you making, like, a donut sandwich? That would have 
would have been pretty smart of me. Anyway, I decided not to make donuts because I have made donuts in the past. I'll link it somewhere up here and somewhere down there and go watch that donut video. Those were so delicious. I just love donuts. Oh, and Paige did a donut tour. If you didn't watch that, go watch that. She just posted it in this. She had a good time. I didn't go, but I did eat the donuts afterwards and they were quite delicious. So Check both of those out and um, I'm going to wait for my potato bread. And now the ingredients for our cheese ricotta spread. It's super simple. It's literally ricotta cheese and seasonings of your choice, which I chose salt and pepper and garlic powder and Italian seasoning, I think. Yeah, just a little bit of each of those. That's it's so simple, so let's make our cheese filling! So this one is pretty simple, it's literally just two things. I'm taking my seasonings, pour it in, and stir it up! It smells so delicious. There's just something about like garlic powder and Italian seasoning that just takes your nose to a whole different place. It's like your nose isn't even here with you. It's like your nose is, your nose went to Italy for vacation. That's what this, I mean, I've never been to Italy, so actually that may not be true, but it smells good. That's my point. And I imagine Italy smells good because Italy, you know, has like pasta and stuff there and I love pasta. Now it's time for the middle of your sandwich, the meats, even though there's actually no meat on this sandwich. I didn't even occur to me until right this second. I don't have anything to put on there anyway. Regardless, we're making our middles and our middles, you're going to need eggs, obviously. And I decided to use tomato and avocado because those things are good together and they'll be good with potatoes and eggs and ricotta and it's going to be so delicious. And that's what you need for your, for your middles. You're welcome to do your eggs any way you like, but I have decided to scramble! <laughs> Looks pretty perfect to me. Well y'all, everything's done. All my ingredients are here. They're perfect, they're colorful, and they're ready to be layered and to be gourmet. Let's do it! One, two, three, go! Look at it, y'all. Look how gourmet it looks. It looks so delicious. It looks so perfect. It looks like I'm probably going to drop it when I try to take a bite, but I picked it up with no problems. Can I take a bite? Pretty messy. Mmm. Those potatoes. I seasoned those perfectly. I feel like I didn't get anything else. Everything's kind of falling apart here. I don't know where to buy it. I don't know if this would be considered gourmet because it's falling apart. But it tastes delicious and that's what matters. And I'm still going to eat it because it has all things that I like. But it tastes delicious. I consider it gourmet flavors, not gourmet looks. Well y'all, that brings me to the conclusion of my National Egg and Cheese Day, even though they're not on the same day gourmet sandwich. It was pretty messy, but it was pretty delicious also, so maybe if you make this at home, do not slice your potato like I sliced my potato. I thought it was fancy, but I did something wrong there. But it doesn't matter because it was so delicious and you would love it. I think you would love it, so let me know if you try it. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.